Hey guys, Karan here from Movie Scrub and I'm back with top 7 apps for the month of June 2020. I'm also giving away some promo codes for one of the icon packs in the end, so stick around. And as always guys, don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. And now let's move on with the first app. How would you like it if your phone's screen showed something like this while it was being charged? Of course, you can change all these colors and these animation styles. You can even place app shortcuts, get notifications, get weather info and even define gestures. The app is called True Amps, and of course the link is in the description below, so go get it. Now what do you think about these wallpapers? I love the color, they're really high resolution and they are super unique. It's from this app called Unusual Wallpapers and they've got a simply brilliant collection. Reminds me of another wallpaper app called Wall Rod. It's very similar but the wallpapers are actually very unique and different. Now I'm giving away 20 promo codes for this app. So just follow me on my Instagram and send me a DM. I'll send over the promo code. Next, how many times you look at something on a screen and you want that text? Well, all you have to do is take a screenshot, tap on the share icon, and then select this option called copy text on screen. Once you do that, the app, which is copy text on screen, automatically extracts all the text that it sees on the screen by analyzing it and makes it available for you to select and then copy or share to whoever you want. As I said, the app is called Copy Text on Screen and you can get it on the Play Store for free. Next up is this app called Metropolis that allows you to apply these 3D cities as live wallpapers. Now all these cities are major cities in Northern America and there's like this whole big collection of these cities. I think there are about 140 plus locations. And uh, if you go through the list, some of these are free, some you can just unlock by watching an ad, and some are pro version, which I think is for about um, 250 rupees, which is roughly three to four dollars. Now you might question, is it gonna drain too much battery? Well, it will drain a little more than usual, but you get something so phenomenal. So if you do charge your phone pretty often, I think you'll be pretty sorted. And next up is this game called Traffics. It's really simple, yet it's very challenging. The objective is pretty simple. You need to get all these white cars moving around and just pass by successfully. Every level gets harder as you go along. The game does cost $2, but then there are just so many levels, it's totally worth it. The gameplay is super smooth and it looks really good. I mean, it's got this minimal look to it and plus the, the gradients look so beautiful. It's got, it's just really nice. It's also got a very subtle music that plays in the background. And as you can see, the levels do get harder and it's all about organization and you know managing chaos. And while it seems very simple, that's where it gets interesting because you know you tend to get hit and then you need to clear the traffic uh, so that you can continue the level and finish it. Of course, you get minimum tries and then you have to restart the level. And coming up next is this really great icon pack that I've been raving about. It's really good looking. It's got vibrant colors. It's got a play of shadows and it's called Folds Icon Pack. The only problem is that it's only got 650 icons that it covers, but it just looks so good that I was actually motivated to just get those out on my home screen. And I do have 20 promo codes to give away, so definitely follow me on Instagram and DM me there. The last app in the list is called Steno Notes. So these are folders or hashtags that you may have created or added while taking a note. And of course, filtering by these folders is as simple as just tapping on them and you get notes that belong to that specific folder. Taking a note in itself is super simple, no complication. You just add a note and you give it a title and then you can add stuff to it. If you want to create a new folder or if you want to club it in a specific folder, just add that hashtag wherever within the note and it automatically clubs it either to the, to the existing uh, folder or creates a new folder like it did in this case. And while there are a bunch of feature pack note taking apps, but if you want a simple one, then this is the one you can actually try. And that's it from me guys. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.